Hey folks, welcome back to the shop. Frank here. Past couple of videos, or in the past couple of videos, I've dealt with some shop organization issues, new lumber rack, new sheet goods, uh, mobile sheet goods rack. I've got another similar project. I'm dealing with a lot of steel cutoffs, short pieces of round stock tubing, structural shapes, angle, that kind of stuff, and then some sheet goods, sheet steel. And I've been sticking them in buckets. I'll show you what I've got currently and then explain to you what I'm thinking about. So I just reorganized this pile of metal scraps into, well, I've got, what, four buckets, three big five-gallon buckets and a smaller bucket with short pieces. And this is, you know, a lot of round stock, short cutoffs of angle and channel and square tubing and that kind of stuff. And it's just kind of stuck in these buckets. I'm thinking there's a better way to deal with all this stuff. It's on a, these buckets are on a furniture dolly, which I like because I can move it around. And I'm thinking about retaining that and building uh, a sorting bin, basically, that'll sit on top of a furniture dolly. This is 18 by 30 inches and it's supposed to hold like a thousand pounds. I won't need it to hold that much weight, but I'd like to come up with something better than this arrangement here for my metal scraps and stock. Some of it is, I mean, some of this round stock is shafting, 4140, uh, this is 4140, several pieces. So it's not just hot rolled round stock, it's alloy steel. So that's what I've got here. And I'm going to use a new tool that I have almost zero experience with. Uh, the only experience I have with it is I made a test cut with it a couple weeks ago right after I bought it. But I have not used it for a project. So this will be the first time using it and I will, you know, I did some research on these tools. I purchased what I think is one of the better ones of its type. So this is really going to be my first, you know, my baptism into using this tool. All right, so this is my new tool. It's a Festool track saw. So battery operated as well as a dust extractor. Okay, the bag is set up inside. This has never been turned on, or at least I've never turned it on. Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on. With the tool here, turn in Bluetooth on, and you get the flashing blue light. And it should pair with the machine. All right, the machine is, all right. So now when I turn this tool on, the dust extractor should turn on. And you can hear that the dust extractor turned on. So this saw uses two batteries. It'll operate on one and there's like a hundred track saw 
videos, reviews on YouTube. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not doing that. You can do that if you want to look at them. I bought this one because I like the fact that it'll work on one battery or two. It's one of the top rated saws. I think the Makita and the Milwaukee are the other two top rated saws. Uh, they're not that much difference in the price. This, I bought the, this saw because of the extractor is highly rated and has a Bluetooth. The saw matches it, same brand. Everything's gonna fit and work together. So that's, that's my, the reason for my purchase decision on this particular, particular tool. All right, I'm gonna start cutting up this. This is a partial sheet of three quarter inch ply. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna cut a square edge to begin with, but then I'm gonna start cutting up some, some smaller pieces to build the storage box out of. I'm gonna make my first squaring up cut here. Just a little bit of splintering on here. This, this plywood has such thin veneer and the plywood you tend to find these days has such thin veneer that it chips out easily. This did chip some, but not too bad. All right, got a square edge to start from since that had been rough cut previously. Let's take some more measurements and See if what they say, this replaces the table saw. We'll see. I like the dust extraction so far. Almost no dust off that cut. You do have to keep in mind which side of the line you're cutting on. So this is the piece I measured. So I need to change the direction of the saw on the track. to say it's pretty accurate if you're careful with your making your marks and aligning the track with the marks certainly accurate cut accurate dimensions it takes a little longer to set up than the table saw to make a cut but it's certainly easier than manhandling a full sheet of plywood on a table saw. I think what I'm going to do now is switch to the table saw. And finish.
So, I mean, there's a slight issue with this, and that is that, I mean, the only way I could have nailed these through this board is if I had nailed them before I installed it on here, which, you know, I guess I could have done. It'll be nailed through the bottom and through the next divider board. So I'm going to let it go. Not worried, you know, about a little bit of glue sque squeeze out or anything because I mean this is just going to have steel scraps dumped into it, so it's not exactly a piece of furniture. Let's see if I can. Good enough.
All right, I got all my scrap stock sorted and I think the thing has worked out perfectly. The little bins in front, I wasn't sure they would be useful, but in fact, you know, there were a lot of little short pieces less than a foot long, so they fit in those bins and I think everything got sorted appropriately with some weight in the front. It's not top heavy or back heavy anymore. I think that worked perfectly. It was less than a sheet of plywood, about three quarters of a sheet of plywood. So if you had one sheet, certainly it would be enough to, to build that. You'd have some scraps left over. I think it's great. Okay, another project done. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up this video. My steel scrap and stock storage bin is done back here in the corner and it worked out perfectly i was a little had some misgivings uh, as i was putting it together that the little six inch bins in front would be you know i wondered how useful they would be but in fact i had a lot of small pieces round stock pieces of tubing you know and you you use uh, in building stuff you wind up using those pieces you need a tab or you know, a pin or something. So it, it, this stuff won't go to waste. I did have a couple things that are either damaged or too small to use, I think, uh, or overflow that will get taken to the metal recycling bin at the county facility. But overall, I mean, I think I put 95% of what I had in those four buckets in that little rack. So uh, it's going to be helpful keeping everything organized. It takes up very little space. It's on wheels. I can move it around. I can put it underneath my wood rack if I need to, but in any case, it, it worked out fine. So if you have a shop like mine and you're making a lot of metal scrap and you're throwing it all in a bucket or a trash can or something, uh, I think this is worth the time and effort to put together. Uh, less than a sheet of plywood, three quarter inch plywood. Doesn't have to be fancy. Mine's certainly not fancy. It's kind of rough, but I think it works. So there we go. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.